Hello and welcome to another edition of We Stream, the official reaction channel of epic rap battles of history. We are joined today by We Scheme. So he might give some commentary. It is Mario Day. March, M A R, the 10th, Mario. Mario Day. And so on this unbiased channel, we'll be looking at the Mario Brothers versus the Wright Brothers. Before we do, I need to take a moment to talk about some serious things that have been happening in our world. There's a lot of stuff going on with this coronavirus thing, and I know a lot of people my age and younger, you know, we've kind of been downplaying it because for us, it's not even as bad as the flu. But what about our parents or our grandparents, those who are like 55 or over? And it's very dangerous to them, much more so than the flu. So this channel, we do our part in addressing the threat that is the coronavirus. So I've put together a little thing about uh, how this channel is going to try to help. Hi, we stream here to talk to you about how you can help this channel prevent the spreading of coronavirus. Now, you might be thinking, wasn't that we stream just talking to us earlier? No, silly. That's we scheme doing a segment called we stream. Now, who is we stream as a person? Uh, it's hazy. No one really understands the lore. Don't overthink it. But coronavirus is threatening all of our baby boomer and older individuals. It's up to us to make sure the virus doesn't spread. Now, coronavirus is a big old scary buzzword. We don't like big old scary buzzwords on this channel, so we will refer to it as the Boomer Doomer. So, if you go to WeScheme.com and type in promo code Boomer Doomer, you will get $15 off a WeScheme mask. The WeScheme mask can help you preventing from the spreading or receiving of the Boomer Doomer. So do your part. Use promo code Boomer Doomer, all one word, no capital letters, to get $15 off your own Boomer Doomer prevention mask. We at We Scheme care about the boomers. And you should too. Do your part. Use code Boomer Doomer. Get your Boomer Doomer prevention We Scheme mask today. Back to you, We Scheme. And that's the plug. So let's go ahead, get into the Mario Brothers versus the Wright Brothers. Um, I remember that I think it's like Rhett and Link, I think are in this video or something, right? I don't really remember much else besides that. I don't know a lot about the Wright Brothers. So we'll see, there's probably gonna be stuff that I don't know in this battle and it's fine. Let's just enjoy and watch. Yeah, it's like Rhett and Link versus Lloyd and uh, Nice Peter. Hooray. So I love this sound of their verse. I had forgotten, but this has been a quick reminder of just the old timey distorted sound of it. I love it. And I love the flow. A doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, let's talk about the bars now on this pause filled channel. All right. Don't want to cause trouble. Are you looking for your lover? Cause you know, Mario and Luigi always looking for a princess peach sort of thing. Uh, there can be no other. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's just means nothing, and I'm reading too much into it. Princess in our castle now. Yeah, she's gone. So you know, we steal your girl. We stayed up all night playing Donkey Kong. Stayed up all night playing Donkey Kong. You know, like a sex joke, and also the first game that Mario, aka Jumpman, at the time appeared in. Before us, people only used to fly in balloons. You think we're scared enough to get used to dick and shrooms? You should have what I could have come to lose an extra life. So just da 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 da. Back down in your pipe. I love the da 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 line. <laughs> all right, let's let's talk about the other ones though. So before us, people only used to fly in balloons, so, you know, hot air balloons. Kind of sad they didn't make, like, a 
balloon reference more specific to Mario, like Super Mario Land. He eats those little pea balloons and floats around. We scheme. It's almost his bedtime. I, I think he's a little too tired to comment. Aren't you, bud? Yeah, he looks zoned out. You got nothing to say? Nothing? Nothing. At least I got a smile out of him. Anyway. Why you below? You think we're scared of two idiots addicted? Scared of two idiots addicted to shrooms, you know, because Mario, they eat mushrooms and grow. Then they eat flowers and can throw fire. <laughs> you shrooms. You shoulda, woulda, coulda come to lose an extra life. Shoulda, woulda, coulda come to lose an extra life. So they should have, they could have, and they would have, and they're going to lose an extra life. So in other words, going to kill you, but your Mario extra lives are going to lose one. You get it? And just da 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 da. So just da 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 da. Back down to your back down to your pipe. So you know the uh, underground score for Mario. If you've never played the old Mario games for some reason, when you go down to the underground realm, down that pipe, the music goes da 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 da. Da, 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 da. So, you know, just to play on the music and going down, you're going down, you, you get it. It's a me, Mario! And Luigi, mother! Why don't you just get back in your biplane and make out with each other? Look at these two, their lives must have been horrible! Two dorky dudes! They will be adorable! Alright, let's talk about where the ERB guys came in. They're just being ruthless gangsta Mario Brothers. The only bling I got Mario related is, are these sparkles. Alright, so... It's -a me, Mario! Cause that's the Mario catchphrase, right? Oh. And Luigi, mother... And Luigi, motherfucker! I just love that, that stupid way to come in. Why don't you just get back in your... Why don't you get back? I like how he says use, like an Italian plumber. Why don't you use guys? Get back in your biplane? Cause that's what it was called, cause it was like a two-person... Maybe I don't know if it was called a biplane, cause it was a two-person plane. Or it was like a... To, there was a reason it was called a biplane. It has to do with the number two. But right now, Mario's making that a play on bi as in bisexual. So, you biplane and make out with each other. Biplane and make out with each other. Because if you're in your biplane, your bisexual plane, you could just make out with the dude. It's also kind of an incest thing. So, I don't know what Mario is implying here. Each other. Look at these two. Their lives must have been horrible. Two dorky dudes. They will for a dog. So, now just to. Your life must have sucked because you're dorks with dorky names. I, I don't think that Mario and Luigi are that cool of names, but you know. You spent all your time on one machine? If you wanted to fly, you should have just eaten this leaf. You should eat something anyway. Look at you so skinny. You might fly like a hawk. Would you fight like a kitty? All right, let's talk about some more stuff. I had forgotten how Italian they made the Mario Brothers in this, and I appreciate it. Each other. Look at these two. Look at these two. Like they made, they went all out on the Italian nature of the Mario Brothers, and I don't know. I don't know why I appreciate that so much. So spend all your time on one machine, which you know was all their time building a plane. One machine. If you wanted to fly, you should have just eaten this. Leaf. She said, "If you wanted to fly, should have eaten this leaf." Because you know Mario power up leaf, you turn into the. Little raccoon guy and fly around. There's a name for the raccoon guy. I forget what it is. Um, and then, or you could eat a feather in one of the Mario games and get a cape. Cause you know how Mario works. Please. You should eat something. You should eat something anyway. Another Italian thing to say. Uh, of course, Luigi's kind of a skinny guy, so it's kind of weird that he's the one delivering this bar. And anyway, look at you so skinny. You might fly like a hawk. Would you fight like a kid? Might fly like a hawk. So. I'll I'm assuming probably somewhere along the lines, the Wright brothers said that their plane flew like a hawk specifically, because I would imagine if they use the word hawk, it's specific, because ERV usually doesn't do things by coincidence. But you fight like a kitty. Um, again, perhaps there's a deeper meaning here, because my knowledge on the Wright brothers isn't that extensive. Uh, but otherwise, fight like a kitty just means they're not tough, but there could be something else there. I don't know. We don't need a fight. We're the fathers of flight. I like the rhyme scheme of this, so let's talk about it. So first they say, you know, they're... We don't need a fight. We're the 
they're the fathers of flight, so they don't need to fight fight or flight response. You know, in psychology, you have the fight or flight responses. They're the fathers of flight, and that's one of your two options. They don't need to fight. Um, did you have something to add, we scheme? All right. Fathers of flight representing North Carolina. Aight. And so I'm representing North Carolina because that's apparently where they're from. We'll be pressing all your buttons. And then we'll be pressing all your buttons like we're the controller. Also, pressing all your buttons is a way to say that you're annoying someone. So they're making a double on pressing your buttons like on a Nintendo controller. And then pressing your buttons like we're getting under your skin. We're the controller. Conquer every level of your... Conquer every level of your 2D scroller. I think, uh... uh obviously, Mario is a 2D side-scrolling game. I would think possibly a kind of a deeper meaning to this is kind of like acting like they're 2D, two-dimensional. Whereas these guys are three-dimensional flying through the sky. That could be a stretch. To be scroller, you talk a lot of trash, but let me tell you something. We're gonna beat you so fast, it's, it's like we're holding down the B button. All right, so we're gonna beat you so fast, it's like we're holding down the B button. You hold down the B button on Mario to run, to go faster. So they're saying we're beating you so fast, it's like we were holding down the B button to run. So you know. All right, so let's talk about this. We're serving up an 8-bit fist because, you know, their old Marios were 8-bit. You know, you get it. It's a punch-you-in-the-face joke mixed with a pixel joke. Made to order! Again, this, this whole thing is kind of a double sort of play on some foodie words and Italian things and punching people and pixels. It's, it's fine. Knock you off the back of your own stupid quarters. Uh, I'm assuming it would have been like North Carolina that would have made quarters. In the U.S., there was a time when every state was getting a special quarter design. So the back of the state, the back of the quarter had like a significant thing for that state. So one of those was a Wright Brothers plane, I think, on the back of the quarter. I would assume it would have been for North Carolina since that's where they're from. So they're saying... So they're gonna punch you so hard that it's gonna knock you off the back of your own stupid quarters that nobody likes. Pow! pow the pow buttons from the Nintendo Mario games again, because that's how you'd like knock people off. How you like me now? Also, just normal pow and then how you like me now? Spitting flames out of mouths like a name. Spitting flames out of mouths like a name was Bowser. Bowser, obviously the main antagonist of the Mario series, who spits fire. So they're saying they split flames like Bowser because spitting flames is the way to say that you are spitting good bars in a rap as well. These are the type of bars that I explain, and I wonder why am I explaining this? But if I don't, someone will be like, "Why didn't you explain this?" So here we are. With Bowser. You get pummeled. All right, so let's go back. I like the little th that they just grow. They they got their mushrooms and now they grew because that's what you do in the game. And so you're getting pummeled because they step on things. You know, they stomp people, they pummel them. Pummel. You wish you never stumbled out your little wind tunnel. Wish you never stumbled out your little wind tunnel. You know, wind tunnel, flying. You get it. Dropping ba bombs since we started this song. Um, Mario little bomb um character thing, so you get it, right? Sorry, right brothers, this time you chose wrong. Sorry, right brothers, this time you chose wrong because their name is right, which could also R I G H T is like being correct, right? This time you chose wrong. You know, choosing an opponent or choosing your character on a Mario game or choosing what type of machine to make. You get where they're going with that. So, yeah. Master Chief versus Leonidas. That'll be a fun one to break down. I love that one. I know. I think I have it almost memorized at this point. All right, so that's always been one of the little fun ERB battles. Uh, this is one of the battles I've always liked how it looked and sounded more than the actual bars. I love the sound of it, the style changes, 
the little visual gimmicks, the bars themselves, again, it could just be because I'd known very little about the Wright Brothers, but I've always seen them as pretty, eh, pretty surface level and bars that even when I explain them, I'm like, I'm sure most people would have gotten this, right? This is something that most people would have known what it meant. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the stuff I talked about a lot of people didn't get, or there's a ton of layers about the Wright Brothers that I didn't get. Either of those possibilities are very likely. Uh, but this is what I wanted to do because it's National Mario Day or something. Because the day looks like Mario and this seemed like a thing to do. And I know you must be thinking two epic rap battles of history videos in a row for two days? How did we ever deserve this? Well, you don't deserve this. You haven't earned it. You should be grateful. And subscribe, comment, and like. And buy the uh, masks on sale using the code Boomer Doomer, which is actually a real code that will really work on the website to get a discount on the mask. So, that's the second plug. Until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Bye!